In this video, I'll explain how to handle post requests with Express and Node.js. If you'd like to follow along with the code examples, please clone this GitHub repo. First, let's take a quick look at a little demo web page I set up. On the left side, I've got my terminal, and I'm going to start my local web server with the command npm start. I get a message saying my server's running, I should point my browser to localhost 3000, so I'll do just that, and I get this form. I can type a first name and a last name, and then when I click submit, in the bottom of the form, I get a message showing me that what I entered. And uh, on the left side, if you'll notice in the terminal, when I submit data in the form, it shows me in the terminal, in the console, what I entered and repost in the page. So just to demo kind of what's going on in the demonstration, we're basically making a round trip. We're posting some data to the server. On the left side, you see the server gets the data. And then in the web page, it comes back to us. And let's, let's actually look at the code that's driving all this. In the file server.js, I start out by creating a few variables. The first one is express, and that's a reference to the express module. The second one is app, and that's an instance of express. Uh, third one is body parser. That's a reference to the body parser module, which we'll need in a, we'll talk about in a minute. And then uh, path, which is a reference to the path module, which we'll also talk about in a minute. So first, let's talk about uh, this line here. So we want to support the ability to return JSON. And if we want to do that, we need to use body parser. This is the uh, module we require up here. And it allow this. so we're telling the app that we want to use body parser.json. And that just gives us the ability to return JSON in our response. Next up, we tell app that we want to use um, this body parser dot Erl encoded method, and that just allows us to support uh, parsing of application of form data. Um, not so important to dig into, but it's good to have if you're going to work with post data. Um, next up, we tell uh, app, which is an instance of Express, that this is our static folder. This is the root of our web folder where all the requests are going to come in. Finally, up here, we are saying, hey, we want to set up a handler for our post request. So we're telling the app, whenever we get a post request, whenever there's an HTTP request of the verb post, and it's to this route slash form, this is what we want to happen. This is the callback. So in this callback, we have two arguments, request and response. Request is an object that represents the actual HTTP request. And response is an object that allows us to work with our response, to craft our response. So inside the callback, first we're setting the header to be content type application JSON because we want to, re to return JSON. In this example, we want to return JSON. Next, I've got a set timeout. The set timeout is literally for demonstration purposes. It, that's it. Because what's inside the timeout right here happens pretty quickly. And it's hard to see when we're demonstrating it. So I just set a timeout for 1,000 milliseconds or one second to just slow things down and allow us to kind of see what's happening. And then in the console, we're going to output uh, what's been posted. So anytime we make a post request to this route, we're going to say, hey, you posted first name equals this and last name equals that. And by the way, uh, the actual response that we're sending, we're doing that by using the send method of the response object. And we're sending it a string. We're stringifying this object. So right here is the object. An object has two properties, first name and last name. We're getting that information from the request. So we're getting the actual post request, getting the body of it, and getting the first name, body, and last name. And then we're crafting an object here. And then we're stringifying it because we want to send back actual strings, actual text. Um, but this is where our round trip comes in. The data comes in here, in this request object or right here. And then we're using that request object and assigning it to response body and crafting a response. Then down here, we tell the app to listen in port 3000. We say, hey, start listening for HTTP requests. And once you're, you're, you've started running this function, it's a callback that runs once to say, once you start listening, execute this. And this is a message saying the server is running, point your browser to localhost 3000. So let's see all this in action. We kind of saw it already, but now that we've walked through that, we can take a look at here and see that if I stop the web server, I'll stop it, and you can see that it's not working anymore. Okay, so watch what happens when I start the web server. I get the message, you 
uh, server is running. So we saw that message just now. And then so we see once again that um, if I type in some data, when I click submit, about a second later, and that's the set timeout. I set that set timeout to a second. So just slow things down so we can see it happening. But in the left-hand corner, you see you posted first name, last name, and down the bottom of the form, you see the data coming back. Let's look at our network tab and see the actual request going out. So if I make the request again, you can see right here, here's an entry in network for form. And when I look at that, here's the preview. Here's the actual data payload that we're setting, sending. And here's the response. Here's what we're getting back. We're getting JSON back. So it's a round trip, nothing too impressive. But I did all that just to demonstrate that in this case, we're using Express and we're using it to capture an HTTP post request. And when we get the post request, this object represents the request so we can get information from the request. We can parse out the request body and we can use the response object to craft a response. You may not want to craft a response. It would be a little odd to have no response, but you don't have to. But the main thing is if you want to capture a post request you with Express, uh, the main thing is you want to set up your variables here. You want to tell your instance of Express what you want to use, what middleware you want to use, and here, we want to set up our handler for the form route. I mean, this is really pretty basic stuff, but um, this code alone can get you started if you're looking to set up a post request handler with Express. The Express framework makes it very simple to set up uh, HTTP post request handlers in Node. I know the examples here were really, really basic, but uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you're looking for more tutorials about Express or Node, please take a look at my blog.